Add teach tracks to the repertoire. Preparation. Note. I have created this tutorial for use by anyone with music library permissions, and so will be working as the current music librarian. For the purposes of this tutorial I have removed the song, Could It Be Magic, from the repertoire list and deleted its page. I will use this song to demonstrate how to create a page for the song and add it to the repertoire list page. I am using a PC with Windows 10 and I find it easiest to have two windows open for this task. So I have opened an incognito window by clicking Ctrl plus Shift plus N and logged into the second City Sound website. I am now logged into the site in both windows. The two windows are distinguishable from each other as the incognito window has a dark header. Now, since we shall be operating between both windows, position them so that you can switch between them easily. I find it best to have both windows set to about three quarters of the screen width. I then set the incognito window to the extreme left of the screen, and the normal one where we shall be doing most of the work, to the right. I do not have access to other operating systems, e.g. Apple or Linux, so cannot verify that these tutorials will work exactly as described here, but I believe that with a few tweaks, it should be okay. It is assumed that the files for the song we are working with have already been uploaded. In the incognito window, hover over Second City Sound in the admin menu and click on Dashboard. Select Media. Click on the repertoire folder icon to expand the folder. From there, click on the Teach Tracks folder icon. The folder is now expanded and the subfolders containing the songs in the Teach Track category visible. Note that if we were adding, say, a Christmas song, then we would expand the Christmas folder. Find the folder for the song we are editing and click on it to select it. The selected folder is now blue in color and the files contained in it are now visible on the right. Creating a new page from template. Ensure you are in the normal window and not the incognito window. Hover over the menu item, Second City Sound, in the black menu at the top of the page. Click on Dashboard. From the drop-down menu, hover over Pages and select All Pages. A list of pages will be displayed, and at the top of the list is one called a Song Template. Hover over this and click on Duplicate. A duplicate of the template will be created and displayed. Hover over this and click on Quick Edit. In the Quick Edit page change the title to the name of the teach tracks you are uploading. Now copy this and paste it into the text box named Slug. Now we need to set the parent page. Just to the right of the title text box is a text box labeled Parent. Click anywhere in this box and a list of folders will appear. Scroll down and find the heading Teach Tracks and select it. The parent page is now set. Now click on Update and you will be returned to All Pages. The newly created page can be seen as a draft. Hover over it and click on Edit. Editing the new page. The new page is ready for editing. There are two parts to the page, a table and a placeholder for a PDF file. The top row of the table is the header row and we can see that the headers are currently set to title here and full mix. The remainder of the table is populated with text associated with the four voice parts and their availability in the song. The title of the new song, Could It Be Magic, should still be in the clipboard, so select the text title here in the table and replace it by pasting the clipboard contents. If the name of the song is not correct, then it can be edited using the keyboard. Next, 
We shall display the PDF music score. So click in the PDF icon and after a short time the media library will be displayed. Find the song we are currently working with and click on it to display its files to the right. Find the PDF file and click on it. To the right is a large box, headed, Attachment Details. Check that we have selected the correct PDF file, and if all is good, then click in the button, Select, at the bottom of the page. Before continuing it is a good idea to check the work done so far. So click on the button in the top right hand corner, labeled Publish. Another button labeled Published will now appear. Click on that and the text will change, first as publishing then updating. After a short time, near the bottom left corner, you should see a prompt labeled View Page. Click on that and the published page will be displayed. Verify that the left hand header displays the correct name of the song and that the correct music score is displayed below the table. Obtaining the teach track URLs. The page is now ready to be populated with the teach tracks. Click into the incognito window and navigate to the file containing the teach tracks for the song we are currently working with. Could it be magic? And select it. In this example 10 files can be seen to the right. 4. Tracks with part predominant. 4. Tracks with part missing full mix, and the PDF file we saw earlier. I prefer to start by obtaining the URL of the full mix file, so I will identify it and click on it. We can now see the attachment details on the right, and we can check that we have selected the correct file by examining the title. If we are satisfied, then click on copy URL to clipboard. Now return to the page edit window and select the text full mix. Above the table there is an edit box and to the right is an icon of a paper clip. Click on it and a text entry box will appear just below the full mix text. This is where the URL is to be placed, so right click inside it and paste the URL you have just copied. Check that the URL is the full mix URL. Now click on the curved arrow to link the URL to the text, which will turn black. If you wish to check the correct URL is loaded, you can click on the update button. Watch for the view page prompt to appear at the bottom of the page and click on it. You can now test the audio by clicking on the right arrow in the audio track just below the full mix text. When done, Return to the edit window to add the other tracks. Editing the table. The table comprises of three rows, with four cells in each row. Not all these rows will be used and the rows that are unused will be deleted. Now go back to the incognito window where we can select tracks to obtain their URLs. Looking at the files, we can see that the first track is Could It Be Magic? Base Predominant .mp3. Click on this file and an attachment details window will open, just as it did when we loaded the full mix URL. Check the title and, if satisfied, click in the Copy URL to clipboard. Close the attachment details window by clicking on the large bold X at the top left hand corner. Now return to the edit window and go to the cell mark base predominant and highlight the full mix text. When highlighted, the paper clip icon can once again be seen. Click on it and the empty text entry box will appear. Paste in the URL and if it is correct, Click on the curved arrow to link the text to the URL. Sometimes the URL will be added to the end of the cell content, and we do not want this. It happens when we are selecting the text, and the selection has gone outside the boundaries of the text. 
I have done this deliberately to demonstrate the effect. If this happens, then press Ctrl plus Z and the last action will be undone, and you can start again. To prevent this happening, you can select part of the text and use the shift and left or right arrow keys to select the text without going outside of the text boundaries. Repeat this for all the cells and when you have finished there should be two rows of tracks linked to their respective URLs. Note that, if there are tracks where the voice is left or right, then the bottom row of cells will have to be edited to indicate in which speaker the part will be played. I will fast forward now to where all the cells in use have been populated. There should now be two rows of cells that are linked to the respective tracks, as can be seen by the fact that they are underlined. So we can delete the bottom row by clicking in any cell in the unused row. Now find the table symbol in the edit row and click on it. Select the delete row option to delete the row you have selected. Now click the update button and select view page. Now we are viewing the published page for Could It Be Magic? We need to add the title of the song to the list in the repertoire. The address of the page is right at the top. Click inside here and copy all. Now go to the repertoire page and click on edit page. When the edit page is loaded and ready to edit, find where the song should be placed alphabetically in the teach track list. We can see that it is between the Bowie Space Medley and Deep Purple. Place your cursor at the end of the Bowie Space Medley line and hit Enter. You should now have a place in the list where you can type in the name of the song. After typing in the name of the song, select the full text and click on the paper clip icon. Paste the page address in the text entry box and click on the curved arrow. Click the update button and when the view page option appears you can check that the tracks are selectable and that the tracks played correspond to the part selected from the table. End of tutorial.